Hi, it's Karima here again and this time I'm not taking a video from uh, nature. Hmm. Uh, the thing is that I took my car back to Czech Republic so I, nowadays I'm in an island uh, but without anything, any bike or any car with uh, which I could uh, go to the woods. And I still didn't find any lovely corner in some of uh, the parks in uh, Cork City where I could uh, take a lovely videos for you. So please be patient with me about this for next few weeks. Uh, anyway, uh, this week's topic is uh, about pagan artists uh, that I like. And uh, I decided since... Uh, I'm from Czech Republic that I will offer to my friends or to anyone uh, from Czech Republic to send me their uh, art, their craft work and uh, that I will show their work to you, to the world. Uh, but not many people texted me actually. I still have few for you. A uh, few people who are creative artists uh, on the field of paganism and are from uh, Czech Republic. So uh, these are those uh, about which I want to talk today and uh, of whose uh, pictures uh, I'm going to show you in this video. And uh, I've decided also to choose some of my favorite uh, Czech artists who are creating stuff which are really connected with paganism. From my point of view they are working on the different symbolism of animals and so on and uh, on uh, German mythology and uh, symbolism and so on. So I've decided to choose some of these as well for this video. Uh, and then uh, I have uh, a bit of photography and a bit of perfumery because I think that uh, creating perfumes is uh, an art as well. Uh, so next to me on one of those uh, parts of the video uh, should flow uh, the pictures from people whom I like, whose art, whose art I like and I'm starting or I started with my personal uh, art with my paintings and uh, my clay work and so on so you can take a look on it as well. Uh, some of these uh, artists are selling their products, some of them are not. So if you want to contact any one of them uh, just uh, check below under my video there might be uh, their website or some place where you can contact them and if there is nothing like that about the one that you chose or more of them that you chose that you want to communicate with or maybe order something from them uh, then please just text me into the comment and uh, comment a video and uh, I will try to find a way for you to contact uh, these people, the person. So uh, the first one, so who's roaming around me here uh, is me and my art because I love to create a lot during during my path and during my life, my whole life basically. Uh, I started art school when I was four year old and uh, I finished both uh, kind of, not degrees, but levels of uh, the art school from, I think that each of them were for eight years, but I was at that school for a bit longer because I was really enjoying that. Uh, so I don't really know exactly how many years did I spend uh, at art school, but uh, I think it had also a great impact on my practice and uh, I, created the main page, the cover page of my Book of Shadows. I created my shamanic drum and uh, another things that I'm using uh, in my craft and uh, my runes for example and uh, my goddess. So these are really things uh, which are connected with me so 
hard and so hu in so huge such a huge way uh, because I just uh, worked on them I created it I gave them the intention and so on uh, so I'd say that art is really really important and creativity even for people who are not maybe so perfectly creative because I know another Czech which is uh, who are complaining about that their books of shadows are not so beautiful because they can just like do a, a sketch of something weird instead of a flower but still I think that it's an amazing part of uh, the craft because craft is the craft uh, which craft is craft so I think it's really really important and meanwhile uh, here around me are going pictures of uh, another people so two girls uh, two women who I really really like who are my good friends even though I'm not meeting them personally much uh, sent me uh, their pictures of uh, jewelry first of them is uh, Taraksakum uh, which means uh, uh, that uh, yellow lovely flower uh, in I think some really like foreign foreign old language uh, so she sent me a few picture of her art uh, you can always see the name of the artist uh, with the first picture that is connected with him or her uh, another one was Noxus and she sent me her beautiful beautiful art made from thousands of beads and uh, then the last one who was actually recommended me, he didn't ask me on his own uh, to show his art, but I think that he's really, really famous and he was recommended me by one of his friends. And I'd say he's very famous also abroad, so maybe you already know him. Uh, and Or at least you might know his uh, Taurus hammer, which you can, which you can see uh, on the picture as well. Uh, his name is Fiba. And uh, his, his craft work is simply amazing. He's really amazing artist and he's uh, very keen in archaeology and uh, Scandinavian mythology and uh, Slavic mythology and all of these uh, things are uh, in his art. Everything is connected uh, with our past there and ancestors and simply amazing. He works with wood, he works with stones, he draws pictures and so on. So you can see his pictures here near to me. Uh, I chose, I think I chose one of the pictures of uh, horns for drinking meat that uh, he created, that uh, he gave a chain and uh, a bit of lovely uh, signs on it. So you can see that as well in this video somewhere during this video uh, another one whom i totally totally love as an artist and i think she's an artist uh, and uh, i ordered from her um, some things uh, is uh, lesotvor and she's my friend on facebook so i'm able to enter her gallery uh, but you can see few of uh, her artwork here around and uh, I asked her for uh, badges with uh, one of them. I asked her for one uh, with uh, a rabbit or hair. Uh, I'm not sure because it's more the symbol than it would be perfectly like uh, the nature that you would be able to find if it's a uh, hair with really long uh, ears or if it's rabbit. Uh, anyway there were some stars around so like this kind of uh, symbolism was included in the badge and she sent me one more with it because she knows that my uh, totem animal is a uh, turtle so she sent me um, one more which is uh, with her uh, turtle uh, with sea turtle so I uh, ordered these from her I'd say a year ago and uh, She's just, I think that she's a really handy person who can do so many creative and nice and lovely things and connect it mostly with nature and uh, with animals. Uh, another one whom I wanted to mention is uh, Vala. 
uh, Vala, uh, Vala's Enchanted Perfumery. I was doing a video for her already in Czech because I'm totally like crazy for her products in the moment and uh, she's making uh, perfumes uh, which are based on mythologies. So she uh, made perfume Freya, for example, uh, perfumes of uh, German or Norse god, gods, uh, their pantheon, Egypt pantheon, Egyptian pantheon. Um, she has some uh, perfumes which were inspired by stories from uh, Greek mythology and uh, another different uh, kinds of perfumes. So uh, she's somebody whom I really, really appreciate and I consider uh, her perfumery as uh, an art uh, which is really, really connected with uh, different gods and different uh, energies like runes and so on uh, and dreams. So that's another one and uh, the last two ones that I would like to mention are two women um, who are a great inspiration for me on my path, uh, not only because of their photos but also because of their articles and recommendations of books and their knowledge and their experience in witchcraft and, and so on. And uh, uh, yeah, these two, I have them on Facebook so I chose a few of their pictures, a uh, few of their photos. Uh, each of them is completely different and uh, I love both and uh, both of their pictures or photos of both of them are really touching me. So I just wanted to add these two as well. And uh, the first one I know her as, uh, or I have her on Facebook as Rig. And the second one uh, I have her on uh, Facebook as Liana, but I found uh, in the corner of most of her photos uh, the signature map. So I just kept map uh, in the in the video for her or in the picture for her. So uh, these are uh, the artists that I wanted to recommend you, that I wanted to show you how does the art from Czech pagans looks like and see you soon.